save the king! The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are embarking on their first global tour on the grounds that relocating to the U.S. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are set for their first go to to Nigeria. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will kick off their go to to the West African Usava on Friday, May 10. Prince Harry, 39, and Meghan, 42, have been invited to by means of Nigeria's chief of defense staff, the country's highest-ranking army official. Upon their arrival on Friday morning, the couple will go to a school. They will then meet with the chief of defense staff. In the afternoon, Harry will meet injured service members at her army hospital. On Saturday, the couple will attend an education session for the organization, Nigeria, unconquered and a reception hosted with the aid of the chief of defense staff in honor of Navy families. In the afternoon, Megan will co-host an tournament of women in leadership with Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Awela, Director General of the World Trade Organization. On Sunday, the Duke and Duchess will attend a basketball health center with Giants of Africa, a cultural reception, and a polo fundraiser for Nigeria, unconquered. Prince Harry spent a few days in London this week to mark the 10th anniversary of his Invictus Games, the opposition for wounded, injured and in poor health veterans and serving armed forces members, and the commemoration used to be highlighted via a service of thanksgiving service at St. Paul's Cathedral in London. Notably, whilst his party used to be taking location at the cathedral, his father King Charles used to be solely two miles away at Buckingham Palace, the place he hosted a backyard party. The father and son did now not meet in the two days that Harry was once in the city, due to what was once stated to be the king's full schedule. The prince was once understanding of his father's diary of commitments and a range of different priorities and hopes to see him soon, a spokesperson for the Duke of Sussex said. The go to to Nigeria will proceed with the Invictus Games theme, highlighting the adaptive sports activities opposition for wounded, injured and unwell provider personnel and veterans which Nigeria participated for the first time at the Modern Cycle in Germany in September 2023. The Nigerian Minister of Defense, Al-Haji Mohamed Abubakar Badaru additionally attended the event, and has expressed willingness to host the video games in the future ought to Nigeria be granted the opportunity. Harry and Meghan's time out on April 28, and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are anticipated to meet with provider contributors and take part in a range of cultural things to do in the course of the visit, which can also be mainly poignant for Meghan. Meghan Markle gets a new nickname meaning, Royal Wife, from Team Nigeria at Invictus Games. In 2022, the Duchess of Sussex printed that she had found by way of a genealogy check that she used to be 43% Nigerian. Talking about it in her Archetypes podcast, she advised comic Ziwe, I'm going to begin to dig deeper into all this due to the fact each person that I've told, specifically Nigerian women, are like, what? This is massive for our community, Ziwe, 30, said. No, honestly, you do seem like a Nigerian, you seem to be like my aunt Uzo. So this is great. Prince Harry and Meghan additionally spent time with the Nigerian crew at the Today's Invictus Games, the place they posed for pics and gave Meghan a one-of-a-kind nickname that means, Royal Wife.